Base pair maximization is kind of a greedy approach, so where it tries to get the maximum base pairs, so that's why we call it as a base pair maximization. Uh, it is implemented in a very famous uh, algorithm, we call it as Nosinov algorithm, uh, named on uh, Russian scientist Nosinov. Uh, it's a recursive algorithm uh, that finds best structure for small subsequences, and one once it gets those subsequences, then it moves outwards uh, to take all the remaining uh, remaining nucleotides and make up some big structures out of it. We know that there are four possible ways of getting the best structure for subsequences i and j uh, from the best structures of uh, the smaller subsequences. So, what we do over here, we can do so what we can do very first time is we can have a situation where we can add an unpaired position i onto the best structure for subsequence i plus 1 and j so we have this whole sequence we start with two loops or two pointers so i goes for example this way whereas j goes this way so j is actually goes in a descending fashion so if this is j this one is j minus 1 and so on. So, in i uh, keeps on incrementing into i plus and then here is i plus 1, here is i plus 2 and so on. So, right now we are taking for example in this case we try to align this i or uh, we try to pair them up but we found that it does not pair. So, we let it unpaired and now we are trying to pair i plus 1 with j. So, it's kind of we are adding this unpaired position i into the best structure. So, in second scenario, we can add an unpaired position j onto the best structure i and j minus 1. A third scenario is uh, we can add i and j pair. So, i and j are actually paired and the structure i plus 1 and j minus 1, they are already there. So, we put this pair into that. Whereas, in another scenario, we can combine two optimal structures uh, where one structure is i through k and the other structure is k plus 1 through j. So, that is where we can have a bifurcation. So, we can take that sequence and in that we actually detected two structures. So, they are kind of combining two optimal structures or there is, is we can in other way around we can call it as a bifurcation. Here we see all these cases again where case 1 is i and j are paired in case 2 i stays unpaired j is unpaired in 3 and bifurcation is our case 4 uh, we can see these interactions down there in this diagram and all these four cases are down there in the algorithm so we can come up with a situation which is our case 1 is s i plus 1 j minus 1 that is the score of this one plus weight of i and j if they pair up with one another obviously we will have higher score or more weight the other situation is uh, we can derive our score from i plus 1 and j. So, in that case uh, we will have this uh, case 2 where i st stays as unpaired. The same way the other two cases bifurcation and where j is unpaired they are also in your equations. This is how we look into this algorithm in more detail. You can see these how the, these are working. So, the idea in base pair maximization is uh, we can find a structure where we can have maximum number of bases paired with one another and this has been implemented in the algorithm which is a dynamic programming algorithm we call it as Nosinov algorithm.